Okay guys, we're trying again. My goodness. I don't know. It says unable to load thumbnail, so we'll figure that out later. For those of you that didn't catch our first going live video, I just kept thinking or something it wouldn't um, connect to the internet and that's part of the problem with live is you have to connect to the internet. <laughs> Imagine that. Um, so I'm not gonna get too close to the cats while they're outside because you can see Chiggy's over there. And Charlie's right there, you can see the end of his tail. So this is their second time outside today. Charlie sometimes asks to go outside twice a day. Um, and when it's nice like this, I'll go ahead and do it. It's 60 degrees here and beautifully sunny. Um, very few clouds in the sky, but it's still pretty cool. Not like the other day when it was 90 degrees here. Try try me in. Come here. You will come and say hi? Say hi, everybody. They come to watch you. They did. Sue, that's so nice. Thank you, babies. Thank you, babies. That's a nice kitty. Are you happy to be out here again? Okay. Where are you going, pantaloons? <laughs> Hi. Hi, baby boo. Are you doing okay? <laughs> Did you like that? He's like, you're scratching in the wrong sp spot there. So it's a scratch on the side of my face. Woo. He likes to chase sticks. Um, so usually I'll have like one stick that I use to chase with him. But I think if I go into the yard, uh, we're screwed on the live video. So I'll just stay here. <sighs> it's a little cold. I think I told you guys that I just mowed my lawn maybe in the earlier video. And so I'm a little bit sweaty. So the breeze makes it even colder. Susan, thanks. I'm glad that it looks good. I, it actually is really clumpy. I was talking about that when the live video, the last live video started crapping out on me. Um, I need to put down some fertilizer and some new grass seed. That's why it's so clumpy looking. May is usually when it looks pretty good because it's all evened out. Right, Chai Chai Man? Ashley Criswell, are you in Kansas City? Because you said, I love the weather today. So I wondered if you're in Kansas City too. Um, I don't mind the weather today. I'd like it to be a bit warmer. I like warmer weather. But it's really good for the flowers and stuff. Oh, Che, yo. Where that Che? There he is. Che smellings. Oh, he's eating grass. <laughs> Get him, Chigdo. Get him, Chig. Chig. <laughs> These um, bushes right here are called viburnum, and they smell like heaven when they um, bloom. So they're just getting ready to bloom. And my whole yard will smell awesome. And then when I open my windows, my whole house will smell awesome. If you guys know what a gardenia smells like, it's pretty darn similar. It's intoxicating. Cheek! His coat looks pretty good in this evening sun. Cheek! Well, what's Chig doing? What's that Chig doing? Chig do, chig do. What are you guys up to this weekend? We'll probably be doing more of this. I have a field hockey clinic on Sunday that I need to coach for. Morar said playing outside live. Oh, do you, is that what you're doing this weekend or do you mean that's what you're watching right now? <laughs> I really want to go closer, you guys. This is lame. Um, try man, you want to get in the tree? 
Try. I'm going to try. Try, try, man. Come here. Come here. <laughs> You're not coming to yours. Come here. Thank you, baby. That's a good kitty. As soon as I knelt down, he came over. Good kitty, Woo. Woo, let's go in the tree. I'm getting in the tree. Okay, show everybody what happens when we get in the tree. Okay. So I'm going to put him right up there. Uh, no, well, come here. Ooh, usually I'm two-handed, though. <laughs> you got it? Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Sometimes he has the crazies, like he's going to run up that branch. And that scares me because there's lots of squirrels. <laughs> uh-huh, don't do it. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if I can go the other way. Try, try, man. Once I put Charlie or Trig up here, I don't um, walk away because I also help them get down. They can jump down. And he's certainly been up that high um, when he's in that tree. He'll climb up that tree by himself. Um, he more like books it. So it's not really fun to deal with. Morar said, they're gonna watch um, English Premier League soccer or football for those of us that aren't American. <laughs> I called a Canadian company um, a couple days ago uh, to ask for measurements of a Pilates machine that they make. And much to my surprise, she gave them to me in inches. And I said, wow, that's really nice of you to accommodate my American mind. And she said, oh, I'm used to it. <laughs> try, try me in. Try, try me in. What are you doing up there? So handsome. Are you like an owl in a tree? Oh, you could be. They could like make you an owl. They could try, try me in. Oh, that's a good smell up to yours. Oh, try me in. I usually get really good photos up here. Um, Susan House just said, I heard you say you grew up with a Susan House, not a common last name that I know of. Yeah, I don't. I mean, that that's her exact name, exactly how you spell it. So um, it's funny. I haven't seen her probably in 25 years, but yes, I did. Um, anyway, I get really good photos for Instagram of him up here because of the contrast in colors. And obviously with the blue background, it looks really nice. So that's why I put him up there a lot. Where'd that chiggy go? I don't know where. Well, where did chiggy go? Where'd that chiggy? You see he is? He's over there. <laughs> oh, there he is. He's smelling the wildflowers. I planted wildflowers in between these yews last year because they're supposed to help attract bees. And I'm all for attracting and helping bees given all the mosquito joe and stuff that's killing them and i posted about that on floppy cat's facebook the other day i really detest those um mosquito joe mosquito squad all that those spraying companies where they come with gas mask on and blowers on their back and then say that it's safe what Oh, it's, oh, it's safe once it dries, but <laughs> as we all know, our cats lick their paws, so then that wettens everything again, or dogs get wet too. It's not safe. I just, I'm, it makes me absolutely infuriated every time it's sprayed in my neighborhood. My neighbor next door used to spray it on a regular basis, and he stopped, thank goodness, after much, much, a lot of my protest and um but now my neighbor across the street is doing it both of them which is just oh gosh makes me so irate if we don't have bees we don't have food every single animal requires bees because bees help pollinate our vegetables our our, all of our plant life and all of that stuff. And then if the cows can't eat, then we can't have beef to eat. We can't have chickens to eat. I mean, if you're a meat eater, 
if you're not a meat eater, then it stops at the plant life. Um, so it's just vitally important. And I don't understand how humans don't get that. And I don't understand how those mosquito companies are legal. Like we're basically just killing our food supply um, for the sake of mosquitoes when there's like a thousand other ways to go about it. It really makes me mad. Um, Miss Astor Dancer said, how did you negotiate with your neighbor about the sprain? Well, I didn't really negotiate. Um, we were friends before it started. And then um, one day I heard blowing outside on a day when his yard people, because he doesn't do his own yard, um, weren't normally there. And much to my horror, I looked outside and saw a guy in a gas mask just spraying that crap everywhere. And um, I just approached him and I said, you know, I let my cats outside. I don't want them exposed to that. Um, is there a way to know when you're going to spray that? And he said, yes, I'll have the company let me know. And then I just decided, I, and I also called the company and told them I didn't want it sprayed along the fence line, that I was really opposed to it. I just tried to be um, even keel as possible. But then one day he told me that they were gonna be over here in 30 minutes and I wasn't home and hadn't let the cats outside that day. And that's, it's really difficult on me when um, they don't get to go outside because Charlie has severe cabin fever and it just is a pain. So I got really upset um, and my neighbor understood that. <laughs> and then I started sending him articles about how these pesticides um, you know, do more harm than good and that there are other ways to go about it, like planting um, specific herbs will keep away mosquitoes. Um, there's also lots of things, like you can put these things in your gutters. So mosquitoes like humidity, they like wet. So if you have sitting water in your gutters, if you have sitting water um, anywhere at your house that that's like a breeding ground for mosquitoes and that's also why pe you can't leave out like old tires um, because old tires are breeding grounds for mosquitoes because they collect rainwater so if you're smart about it and understand how it works then you don't have to have a mosquito problem and that's what I told my neighbor I said I don't have a mosquito problem like you do next door because I don't overwater um, he changed a lot of things. He actually got like a rain sensor sprinkling system so that it only rains when the ground says it's ready, not rather than just like every three days um, watering. So it's more reliant on the rain that's coming from the sky. So I don't know. Um, I think my neighbor was good a good enough person to realize, okay, this isn't working out. I need to try something different. And I, I didn't give up on trying to educate him either. Okay. Jesus, lover of my soul, awesome God said, heard today that Angel Timo is in the pet hospital with IV for five days. Poor Angel Timo. It breaks my heart to hear this. Yes, I mentioned that information about Timo yesterday. Um, it's really sad and it doesn't sound like there's a lot of hope, um, but I hope that maybe something's been read wrong or he can still turn around. He's only six years old and that's pretty terrible. He's in kidney failure for those of you that don't know. And he's um, a six year old ragdoll. He's a seal mitted ragdoll that lives in the Netherlands. I would die if I lost, lost one of my cats right now. And I can't imagine losing one of them four years ago because they're almost 10. so. Four years ago was when they were six. Poor Timo. What are you doing? What's she doing? She's just doing chief fangs. I had grass all over there, but I cut it down. Miss Astor Dancer, um, what would you have done if your neighbor had refused your pleas? What if he had refused to stop spraying? What would you have done? I would have taken it to the city. Um, and I've actually thought about doing that. 
um, with my neighbors across the street, even though I'm not in direct contact with it. It's absolutely insane to me. I, d I don't understand how really well educated one of the people across the street is a lawyer. I don't understand how really well edu educated people don't understand that. Um, so it's hard for me. Um, I don't like to get into other people's business, but I think when it, no, 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 oh gosh, come back down, come back down. Good, good idea. Thank you. <laughs> come here. <laughs> That's the first, first time he, he's done that and gave me a heart attack. Woo, you are a nut. All right, come on. This is going to be hard because, oh, what? Oh, oh. I usually don't do this one handed. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you got him. <laughs> there we go. Good kitty. He saw like a bird or something and went berserk. Um, <laughs> whew, I have no idea what I was talking about. Um, oh, taking it to the city. I probably would have gone around and like petitioned for it or something like that. It's not in my nature to do that, but... Um, <sighs> I've been thinking about it with a neighbor across the street. He's actually a friend of my cousin's. So I've been harassing him about um, educating. But I've also thought you have to approach people where, where it matters to them. So this guy's like obsessed with his yard. He loves like a perfect yard. So the other day I was joking around with him and I was like, you know, you know what jacks up your perfect yard? And he's like, yeah, what's that? And I was like, Mosquito Joe, it, preve <laughs> it prevents grass from growing. And he's like, are, really, are you serious? And I was like, no, but I wish I was serious so that you'd stop spraying it. Um, yes, Wendy, I want bees around too. Okay. I am not allergic to them as far as I know. I've only been stung by a bee twice. Once when I was a little girl. And I think actually the second time I was stung by a yellow jacket, which is a totally different type of experience. Whoa, Zerzy, wait, you, you ran up that tree, Zerzy, and we got it on film. Zerzy, uh-huh, not going in there. You already gave me a heart attack today. You already did it. Mm-hmm. Well, should we end this live video? I know, I haven't figured out a good time to do these live videos. I also um, keep thinking, okay, vlogging day seven. I told him that I would at least make it till 10, so I will try to do that, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna go much past that because I am starting to feel like this is an obligation that I'm like, oh gosh, I gotta do that today. And it doesn't, I like to be better inspired, if that makes sense, like if I, if I'm forced to do something then, or if I feel obligated, then my heart isn't as into it as I think it should be. Woo. <laughs> Wendy, I will, but I will also um, complete at least the 10 days that I talked about. Um. Susan said, losing a beloved pet is devastating. Lost my tinker at the age of 16. She had such a sweet soul. My fur baby I adopted two years ago, diagnosed with cardiomyopathy Ugh. recently. I'm really sorry about that, um, Susan. Cardiomyopathy kind of scares me in a lot of ways because of the... A lot, a lot of times it goes undiagnosed and then um, an owner finds their cat um, dead. So that stinks. Brian just said he liked Charlie's pantaloons, so we'll follow that in his pissy pants tail. What is up with your tail? Why are you so pissy pants? Try Charmin. Because <laughs> you didn't let me run up that tree. Man, I've never seen him so fucky at his tail. Yes, Brian, very sad about Timo. Um, but Susan, on cardiomyopathy, if you're aware of it, then I, as far as I know, it's easier to manage. <laughs> Great. 
What do we got going on over here? Chiggy's over here. Where's Chiggy? Oh, there he is. Chiggy's over there. Oh, there's a puppy on the other side of the fence. My neighbor behind me has a dog. I've never met that neighbor. Oh, there's two dogs back there. Oh, I'll probably lose connection. Yeah, there's two dogs. Chiggy's watching them. Where are those puppies? Where are those puppies? <gasps> those are puppies. Go find those doggies. Where are those doggies? Chiggy um, doesn't like dogs very much. Um, and he gets kind of scared of them, but Charlie doesn't really care about them. Uh, Wendy said six month old ragdoll Milo is listening and watching. Get him. Get him. We said, where are those puppies? Go find those puppies. What are those puppies doing? We're going to say hi to those puppies? What are those puppies doing? Um. Brian said, does your neighbor's cat, Pablo, still come around your house on the front step? Um, it's Poncho, um, and he, I haven't seen Poncho for a while. Oh, Wendy, is Milo have, um, have I seen a picture of Milo? Milo, um, Brian, it's fine. I don't expect you to remember Poncho's name. Um, have I seen Milo? Does Milo have an hourglass blaze like Charlie then? There's a kitten right now. Okay, because there's a kitten right now with an M name that they, the owner just submitted a ragdoll kitten of the week, a ragdoll kitten of the month story, and he looks exactly like Trig. So that's a, <laughs> where my mind is getting confused. So sorry about that. Woo! Get him, woo! Get him! <laughs> Get him, woo, woo! Ooh! Miss Astor Dancer said, Thanks for listening. I'm going through a similar situation with my next door neighbor regarding burning in his backyard. Okay, burning. Um, do you mean like burning leaves? Because, um, I have a neighbor that I'm having problems with that too. We live in the city and you're not supposed to burn leaves um, in the city. <laughs> and they do it on Sundays when of course the city is closed. Um, and I have debated whether or not to call about that um, because it's pollution, number one. Number two, it's not safe. And number three, yeah, respiratory wise, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Miss Astor Dancer just said, are you ready for this? He's burning treated fence wood. Oh, oh, good night. Oh, good night. I would call the cops. <laughs> I don't, you know, each mun municipality has its own rules and laws and stuff like that. But, um, oh my gosh. Why are people so... <sighs> I don't want to be judgmental with this, with any comments that I make, but that is that is really inconsiderate um, for fellow humans and nature. Oof. D, all the above. I kind of like all the sun glares that it's making with the camera. Woo. All right, guys. I haven't had any water, and I want to go get an apple. So... I'm going to sign off. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.